Oh man, why do they have to be all the way over there? I don't have any blocks to build with. Oh, wait a second. Sick. Welcome back everybody to yet another Minecraft Mod Showcase. So, because the last one did so well, they are officially returning. Yes, you guys smashed it. Congratulations. <laughs> and I'm really glad you did because I love recording Mod Showcases. I love, love, love recording Mod Showcases. They're just so nostalgic for me because they were like the first Minecraft videos I kind of watched when I was younger as well. So, it's kind of nice. So anyway, today we are going to be checking out the Extra Bows Mod. Or the More Bows Mod, whatever you want to call it. There's more bows, ba more bows basically and more upgrades and cool stuff like that. So let's dive right into this. So, in these chests over here, we've got five very cool, very new, very special bows lined up. So the first bow we've got here is the stone bow. And the stone bow can be crafted using a regular bow surrounded by uh, one, two, three, four, five pieces of cobblestone with a string stone in the middle. And to craft the string stone, it is going to be uh, four of any kind of wood and one cobblestone in the middle in this pattern right here. And that will give you the stone bow. Now, with every bow in this mod, you can press B, uh, let me find my B key, there we go, uh, to open the inventory like so, and this is where you place your upgrades in, basically. So, <clears throat> right now we have no upgrades, but we'll get to that in just a second, they're all over there. Uh, so, basically, when you press B, you can open your upgrade, in upgrade inventory, and some upgrades do conflict with each other, so you can't use them all in... Um, uh, what am I looking for? Uh, cooperation. But you can use some in cooperation. So you can use four, I think, at a max, and only certain ones can be combined. So, yeah. And I meant to say, by going into the config uh, for this mod, you can actually change the damage and durability that these uh, items have. So, as you can see, the Emerald Bow currently has eight damage, 1500 durability, uh, one inaccuracy. That kind of means, like, what kind of, a, uh, how much of a throw off it has, uh, 15 seconds time, and velocity multiplier. So, how fast the bow shoots, or how fast the arrow travels, I mean, after the, you shoot it from the the bow and uh, you can modify all these basically so the stone one only has one damage which is very very weak uh, basically no durability pretty inaccurate um, and very long time uh, and very low velocity so you can improve these to make them better basically is what I'm trying to say here you can adjust them to whatever you like them to be uh, but I'm just gonna stick with the defaults about val default values here so we got five damage on the diamond bow and all this good stuff so you can check the stats for yourself but basically they can be adjusted so there's no one real uh, set damage or durability for any of these items here. So the next one we've got here is the Iron Bow, and the Iron Bow can be crafted using the Stone Bow, which we just crafted, surrounded by uh, five pieces of iron ingot, and uh, one strong iron, which can be crafted using four cobblestone and one iron, the same as we crafted the strong, or wait, was it strong or string? Um, string stone. Maybe it's supposed to be strong? Let's see what the gold one says. Strong, yeah, this is supposed to be strong, I think. Anyway, we'll ignore that for now. But that's basically how you make the iron bow, and of course you can adjust it in the config the same as the stone one. But the default value for each of these is stronger than the last here. So obviously the stone is the weakest, iron is the strongest. For some reason, gold is zero. It does zero damage. I don't know why that is, but yeah, we won't, we won't talk about that. And then diamond stronger than uh, iron, and then emerald is the strongest here. So the next one is the gold bow, and that can be crafted using five pieces of gold and one strong gold, which can be crafted like, using the same recipe as the last time. Four pieces of iron ingot and one gold ingot in the middle. Uh, it's basically just whichever material you use surrounded by the last material for the last bow you crafted. So yeah, and that'll give you the gold bow and you can use that and it's pretty cool. And of course you can adjust all these as I said several times but I'm just, I'm just getting the point across, okay? And the next one is the diamond bow. Looks really, really cool actually. Can be crafted using five diamonds and one strong, strong diamond. <laughs> Strong diamond, which can be crafted using iron, uh, four iron, and one diamond in the middle, and that'll give you the strong diamond. Uh, let's actually pick this up. This looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, that looks nice. This is a nice looking bow right here. Oh my god. Also some very fast velocity. Look at the speed of that. Oh my god. God, that's much faster than a regular bow. Wow, I didn't check out the golden properly, actually. Oh, that looks nice, too. These are all pretty nice. Yeah, they did some really nice texture job on the bows, actually. I gotta say that much. And uh, finally, we've got the emerald bow. And the emerald bow can be crafted using five emerald and one strong emerald, which is crafted using four diamonds and one emerald in the middle. And uh, just using the diamond bow in the middle again. So, yeah, that's the emerald bow. And this is personally my favorite, obviously, for obvious reasons. This is obviously my favorite. Uh, but, yeah, this is the strongest one as well. So, it's... Whoa, that was fast. Whoa, that is pretty good. And um, so yeah, this is the strongest bow in the mod. So yeah, it's, it makes sense. Emeralds are OP, right? So anyway, moving on to the upgrades. Over here, we've got the upgrade plate, uh, which can be crafted using 
uh, eight strong iron surrounding one strong strong diamond uh, which we crafted earlier and that'll give us an upgrade plate and basically this is just what you need to craft all of the different upgrades so the first one we got here is the arrow cost upgrade and this gives you a random chance to get up to get an arrow back whenever you shoot your bow um so i th maybe it's when you land an arrow shot i'm not sure i think like basically when every time you fire an arrow you get a chance to get one back i think it's like that um but yeah it's crafted using the upgrade plate which we just uh saw over there and surrounded by eight arrows like so and we're going to apply this to one of our bows here so when i tested this out i actually combined them all at the same time and it crashed my game so i wouldn't recommend actually combining uh, all the slots i would say just do it one at a time maybe one or two possibly three but i wouldn't say go for four because it can probably end badly so we're going to test this out here for a second so eventually oh there we go so as you can see i just got an arrow into my inventory so it's a random chance of us getting an arrow back whenever we fire so let's just fire a couple more here and see uh keep going keep going keep going keep going this fire is really fast though oh my god look at this this is insane i'm barely tapping the bow and it's just rattling off arrows that's insane yeah so whenever i have whenever i fire uh, the bow there's a chance for me to get an arrow back straight away which is pretty good actually so it's not the most insane upgrade but it's still it's still decent you know it's still decent and the next upgrade we've got here is the double arrow upgrade and this shoots two arrows which is super super cool now in 1.14 there is an enchantment for crossbows which is called triple shot i think or maybe it's multi shot multi shot that's the one and you can shoot several arrows at once this does the exact same thing but it's 1.12 and it works on bows instead of crossbows so this one is even cheaper than the last recipe it's just two arrows beside the upgrade plate and we're going to grab this here and we're going to test it out so let's put this in here oh it goes in this slot so basically any like multi-arrow uh upgrades go in this slot here and most of the other ones just go in these three so we're going to shoot this here and bam that is so so cool so it shoots two hours at once. We're going to have to test this properly. So we're going to summon a uh, uh, husk. And another one like right here beside it. And uh, let's see if we can get both of the same shots. So let's do this. Bam! Look at that. That is insane damage too, by the way. Oh my god, this bow is so, so nice. Why can't this be in regular Minecraft? Okay. So that's the uh, multi-shot, was it? Or the double shot arrow? Yeah, the double arrow. That is pretty, pretty cool. And next, of course, we've got the triple arrow. Uh, it's just literally the same as the last one, except it's three arrows instead of two. Uh, so this one's crafted using uh, three arrows surrounding the upgrade plate. So I don't get why this one is cheaper. Maybe it's... Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't get why that's that costs more than these two, because it's not really... I think these ones are better. That's strange. Uh, anyway, let's grab this here for a second, and we're going to equip it on our bow. There we go. And we're going to put down three more husks. And we're going to see if we can get all three with an arrow shot. So let's do this. So I'm going to aim right in the middle, and hopefully these arrows will... Oh, one of them just moved. Okay. Um, so... Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay, and... Okay, the arrows are actually going fairly close together. Yeah, they're kind of just going all in the same direction, so... That's still really overpowered, though. I really like that, but it's... It's not like... I think the double shot spaces them out a bit more. I think the double shot goes, like, one and two. But the uh, triple shot just kind of goes all into the same blocks. Like, as you can see, they all just go in the same direction. Interesting. Very interesting. So I think maybe you're better off with the double arrows if you have a horde. Um, but if you're getting, like, one big mob and it's got a lot of HP, then I would say definitely the triple shot. That seems to be very, very strong. And the next upgrade we have is the fire upgrade, places the block that it hits on fire, and it sets entities on fire too, so it works the same as flame for entities, uh, so basically if you hit a mob with the arrow, it'll get set on fire straight away. So, to craft this, it's going to, whoa, that's expensive, it's going to be the upgrade plate in the middle, and two blaze rods to at either side, and in each of the corners it's going to be blaze powder, nether ward at the bottom, and a flint and steel on top, that is very expensive actually, I don't... Is it worth it? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, so let's put this in here. Uh, we're going to spawn in our husk buddy. And we're just going to pop this guy here. Bam. Oh my god. Okay. So also you can just shoot it at the ground and it'll set the block that it hits on fire like so. Uh, I'll just do a few examples. There you go. Um, so I kind of, I might get a stronger mob actually because husks are kind of weak. I'm not going to lie. So let's get a villager golem. There we go. What's up, buddy? Oh, I forgot he would do that. Okay. Um. So bam. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. So I'm assuming it works the exact same as Flame, except without the enchantments, basically. So it's it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. And the next one we got here is one of my personal favorites, the Lightning Upgrade. Spawns a Lightning on the hit block. So 
it works the same as Thor. You can become Thor with a bow. So you're kind of like Legolas. If Legolas and Thor had a baby, this is what he could do. So uh, this is crafted using two fire charges, uh, two blaze rods, uh, two firework rockets, and two flint and steel all around the upgrade plate. And that'll give you the lightning upgrade. So we're going to throw this into our bow here. And yeah, this poor guy, this poor, poor guy. That is a lot of damage. Oh my god, did you see his HP just go way down? Yikes. So yeah, it's very expensive, but I think it's worth it because look how cool that is. Look at that lightning. You can summon lightning like the god of thunder himself. That is insane. So yeah, that is the lightning one, and I think it's probably my second or third favorite. Um, Yeah, it's, it's really cool though. It's very, very cool. And the next one we've got here is the explosive upgrade, which creates an explosion on the hit block or entity. So, works the same as the fire, except it creates an explosion instead of uh, fire, obviously. So, it's crafted using the upgrade plate surrounded by 8 TNT. And we're going to grab this, and we're going to throw it into here. And if we shoot the ground, bam, instant explosion. I think it's around similar size to a creeper explosion. I'm not sure. It's I think it's some way similar, at least. So, we're going to spawn in our golem here. And it'll also cause an explosion when it hits him. So, boom. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh my god. So it did about uh, 23 hearts, which is 46 damage. Not bad, not bad, actually. That is very, very strong, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's just another feature. Like, you can just kind of bam, bam, you know? It's it's really cool. If It's just kind of a... It's not really a balanced mod. It's more just for kind of messing around. And the next upgrade we have is the healing upgrade, which gives a random chance for the player to... Wait. A random chance to give the player a half a heart if he deals the damage. Okay. Wait, if he deals damage, mod creator. How dare you assume it's a he? It is 2019, man. Anyway, so basically, yeah, every time you hit a mob, um, you have a chance to gain back half a heart. So, yeah. If you deal damage to anything, you have a chance to gain half a heart is, is pretty much the, uh, the baseline here. So we're going to put this in here. And I'm going to go into survival for this one. So let's go into game mode. Uh, survival. There we go. I'm going to aggressive this guy. There we go. He did a bit of damage. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage, actually. Okay, so we're going to pop this guy a few times. And as you can see, we're gaining back HP much faster than we should. Oh my god, he's faster than I thought. Whoa. Um, I'm actually out of arrows, I just realized. So that's that's kind of awkward. Um, but yeah, I think I've demonstrated it pretty good. I'm not going to fight this guy anymore because he's insane. And I didn't mean to say that all these have durability. There is durability on all the upgrades, so do be careful when you're using them. They, uh, like, as you can see, this one has 400. I think, do they all have 400? I think they have similar to 400. I'm not sure if it's exactly, uh, but it's around 400, I think, for all of them. Um, this one, this one at least has 400, so that's a lot of uses, to be fair, but it's not unlimited, so just do be careful when you're using it. And the next one we have is the water upgrade, which, of course, just places on a block of water. So it's not the most useful, but it's 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 okay. It's okay. So it extinguishes fire in a radius of two blocks, and a random chance to spawn water disappears in five seconds. So, yeah, it doesn't actually place water every time. It places water every once in a while, um, and it extinguishes fire in a radius of two blocks. So we're going to put this uh, onto our bow, and bam, there we go. So I'm going to get flint and steel real quick, and I'm going to throw that down around here so this is supposed to extinguish the fire remember so if we go boom oh dang that's pretty good actually so yeah this extinguishes fire instantly which is very very cool if you're for example in the nether where there's a lot of fire and you could get in trouble so uh, yeah as you can see there there's a random chance for it to spawn a block of water which it just did and the water will disappear itself there's no need to clean it up afterwards you're good basically you don't need to go get your buckets and try to sponge it away and all this stuff it'll just disappear itself so it takes five seconds but after the five seconds it disappears so i just got two of them there and there we go it disappears and you're you're all good all your world is tidy and clean there's no water missing it up and the next one we have is the freeze upgrade it snows on the hit block freezes water and gives the slowness effect and can randomly spawn a snowman so this is probably i think the most um how do i say um varied ver yeah varied uh, upgrade because there's a chance for four different things so it can snow on the block one, it freezes the water, and it gives the slowness effect to mobs, and it can it can spawn a snowman. So that's four effects, which is more than any other upgrade in the mod. So yeah, this is um, the most kind of RNG one. So random stuff can happen, basically. So um, we're going to try to see if we can get all of these. Uh, so the first one we're going to try is the ice on the water here. So if we shoot the, the water, this turns to ice, which is pretty cool. I don't think it decays. I think it just stays like that, so you'll have to mine it yourself. And if we shoot the sand, it snows on this sand block. So, I don't think it changes biome, 
uh, but it just snows. It just places snow on top of the sand or whatever you shoot, basically. Yeah, it's still desert. So, yeah, it doesn't snow on it. It just places um, a piece of snow on it. So, yeah, and then when you hit mobs, uh, what is it? It was like slowness, wasn't it? So we're going to spawn another golem. There we go. And now he's affected with slowness. You can see the particles coming off him. That means he's slowed. So I'm going to go into survival, actually, and test this for a second. So, boop. Yeah, he's very slow now. He can barely chase us. Never mind. I take it back. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Did not see him going that fast. Okay. Uh, there we go. Much better. Um, so, yeah. That's... Uh, okay, we're missing just a snowman now. So, we've got to spam this and see if we can get a snowman. Wait, that's the desert. He'll die if he's in the desert, right? Okay, we got to go to a cold biome. Well, not a cold biome, but a colder biome in the desert, obviously. So, let's just keep spamming this here. And hopefully, we can get another Frosty. Come on, Frosty. Where are you at, boy? we got to get another Frosty up in here. Come on. There we go. We, oh, we got two in, like, two shots. Sick. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, a uh, very rare chance for it to spawn a snowman, but it does happen. So, yeah, it is very, very cool. Whoops, I forgot to show you how to craft this. It is four snowballs and four blocks of snow around an upgrade plate. My bad. I also forgot the water one. Um, I'm a big noob, don't mind me. Uh, it's going to be four prismarine crystals, four water buckets, and one upgrade plate. And the healing one is an iron sword, two arrows, and one potion of healing. Okay, so I, I may have skipped these three and I went back over them. Don't don't worry about it. Anyway, moving on, we've got the Ender upgrade, and the Ender upgrade is crafted using four Eye of Ender, four Ender pearls in them, and an upgrade plate in the middle. And this teleports whichever uh, teleports the player to whichever block the arrow hits, basically. So wherever your arrow lands, uh, the Ender pearl will teleport you there. So we're gonna place this into our bow, and we're gonna shoot an arrow, and boom. We get insta-teleported to wherever we shoot, which is very, very cool, because um, arrows do travel further than enderpearls in Minecraft, so um, say you wanted to get to a very high place up there, but enderpearls don't, just don't travel that far, but arrows do, so you could just shoot your arrow up there, and wherever your arrow lands, you will, wait, where did the, I didn't get teleported, what, where did, that, where did the arrow land, okay, let's try that again, okay, where is that going, okay, I don't know where that went. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, end up... Whoa. Oh, okay, I guess they just landed now. I guess they're at a chunk distance or something. Where am I? Oh, my God. So, yeah, the whole premise of this upgrade is that you can just kind of go further than a regular Ender Pearl and, you know, use less resources because it doesn't cost you Ender Pearl. It just costs the upgrade durability, which is actually way better. And now for the final and probably my favorite one... The bridge upgrade. And the bridge upgrade is crafted using four obsidian two wood, whatever planks, whatever kind of variation planks you want, and two strong diamonds, and the upgrade plate in the middle. And basically, this is the best one. I'll, I'll tell you why this is the best one, okay? So we're going to put this in here for a second, all right? So say there's a very high cliff or something, and you're, or you're in a ravine, and you, there's a big gap, and you have no blocks, you can't cross, and you only have your bow and the upgrade in your bow. So say I want to get up there, right? Say I want to get up there right now, and I have no other way to get up there, no blocks, nothing, and it's just so much effort, and I want to save some time, right? Bam. Instant staircase. And you can just walk up your little staircase, and you're good to go. You're good to go. Look at this. You're good to go. Now, be warned, the thing about the staircase is the blocks it's made from, I don't know what they're called, uh, what are they called again? The bridge blocks. Um, these don't last forever. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, they just disappear. I think it lasts 20 seconds or something. Yeah, 20 seconds. And um, that's how long it lasts, and then they disappear straight away. You cannot mine them. Um, I don't know if you can place blocks. I'm going to try to place blocks on them for a second. Hold on. Um, so, can I place blocks on this? I can, but you cannot mine them. I've tried. They literally will not break, no matter what. Um, so they're just, they're just kind of stuck like this until 20 seconds is up, and then they disappear. So it's a temporary bridge, but 20 seconds is quite a long time. So if you're going over a long distance, you'll still have plenty of time to make it. Uh, 20 seconds will give you enough time to make it, whatever distance you need to go. I, I, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this one is so, so much fun. Like, honestly, just being able to go like, bam, and bam, in any direction you want, and just being able to, like, you know just make an instant staircase and go anywhere like i'm just walking through the sky right now and i'm just i'm just having a good time and um, so yeah that's that's why it's my favorite one it's just like very good for mobility basically getting to high places getting across large distances it's just it's just really good to have especially because i'm a bed wars player and um, having that in bed wars would be so so amazing i know there is a bridge egg but it's nothing like that man that thing is insane and um, so yeah that's basically what this mod has to offer and um, it's a very very cool mod i would highly recommend you go check it out 
down in the description of the video. Um, and uh, yeah, there's also a mod, mod showcase playlist you can check out. It's got like over 70 mods that I've showcased. And uh, yeah, most of them are pretty cool, if not all of them. So hope you guys did enjoy this mod showcase. I hope you're enjoying the return of mod showcases because last episode was the return. Um, and now we're fully back into swing. So hope you guys are enjoying things so far. So anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Really do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.